I spoke with a, a, an active duty major, David Roselle, um, who's actually written a book about his, his experiences. He's a, a lower leg amputee, um, runs the Ironman uh, competition in Hawaii every year. Um, a remarkable uh, person, uh, remarkable attitude, um, a very positive person, active duty soldier, has returned to duty, has been back to Iraq since he um, suffered his amputation. Um, it's those kind of people that you meet um, on a regular basis when, when you're um, involved with U.S. Army Medical. And um, it's a very um, motivational sort of experience to work with people who have that need, who have identified the need, um, who know that, um, you know, know what has to be done, and then to be able to match them and their need up with the expertise that we have here. Um, so it was a really rewarding experience. Five or six different prosthetic um, limbs for different purposes. So he's, you know, for his um, athletic um, experiences, he's got he's got one limb for um, for normal everyday walking around. He's got another. Um, the uh, the experience, the common experience for all of those prosthetics for him was that they're uncomfortable. That you know, wearing them, especially a lower uh, limb amputation. There's a lot of load, body load on it. There's a lot of load on the prosthetic, but more importantly, there's a lot of load on the residual limb that isn't used to experiencing that load where it's experiencing it. Um, and so it's very uncomfortable. And um, you know, that's, that's kind of what led us in the direction of thinking about implanted prosthetics and um, thinking about how we can actually not only allow the, the amputee to recover function, 